Greetings families, welcome back once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you are well. I hope your day is great. I'm so sorry. I promised this video about two days ago, but the internet was so disturbing. I couldn't do deliver. I thought I still have to share it even though it's late. Maybe some of you might not see it. Anyway, it is international craft day that was held in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. The craft is still going on. It will end 25th of November, which is great. Yes, it's to showcase anything craft, anything that Africa has to deliver. This is very important because this is the way we learn about ourselves and our materials, anything that we are good at. This is how we show it. And for them to be doing it in Burkina Faso means a lot for us. Those of us who believe in AES, it means a lot to us because it's a great deal to host something as huge as this for security reasons. And our president is also there to open it. Of course, he has to be there because this is something that he's proud of. This is what he stands for. All of them, this is what they stand for. Yes, the video is long. I will leave you here and I'll be back later. Thank you so, so much. Credit to RTB, credit to OLTM for sharing this with us. Families, I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. With great honor and a legitimate pride that I'm speaking to you today. On the occasion of the solemn opening of the 17th edition of the Ouagadougou International Crafts Show, Chow. Despite a security context marked by cowardly terrorist attacks and multiple vain attempts to paint Burkina Faso red, the free and sovereign land of our country has once again succeeded in bringing together delegations from Africa and beyond to celebrate the richness of African craftsmanship. This success is the fruit of the unshakable resilience of the Burkinabe people, who stood united behind our fighting forces. Their commitment, determination and courage in the field enabled them to inflict heavy losses on the enemy, and to maintain the necessary and indispensable security for this event. I would like to take this opportunity to wish a speedy recovery to the wounded, and in memory of the civilian victims and heroes who fell on the field of honor. I invite you to observe a minute's silence. You. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence here today of delegations from many countries testifies to the international confidence in and solidarity with Burkina Faso in its ongoing quest for real independence and sovereignty. I am grateful for this mark of friendship. I particularly welcome the distinguished presence of the ministers who are members of the Board of Directors of the African Intellectual Property Organization, or a countries. Their presence among us demonstrates their unwavering commitment to promoting the African crafts sector. I would also like to pay tribute to the 17th edition's special guest countries, Mali and Niger. Our brothers from the Confederation de l'Alliance des Etats du Sahel House are the important delegations. Conducted at a high level by their minister in charge of crafts, it symbolizes the strength of the fraternal and supportive ties that unite our peoples. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the 17th edition of the Ouagadougou International Crafts Fair is taking place under the theme of African crafts, youth entrepreneurship and empowerment. This theme is of the utmost importance, as it highlights the decisive role of craftsmanship in Africa's economic and social development, while underlining the involvement and commitment of our young people in this sector. The creativity and talent of our artisans, whom we will have the honor of discovering throughout this edition, are living testimony to this. A key sector of the African economy, the craft industry contributes over 20% of the continent's GDP and employs over 60 million people, mostly young people. It is an essential source of income for many households, and an essential lever for growth and poverty reduction. 
However, the African craft industry faces major challenges, accentuated by the security crisis affecting several countries in the sub-region, including Burkina Faso. This situation of vulnerability has disrupted socio-economic fundamentals and particularly impacted the productive sectors, notably crafts, due to massive population displacements and reduced marketing opportunities for craft products. Furthermore, access to financing remains a major constraint for craftsmen, who are often faced with a financing offer that is ill-suited to the realities of the sector. This situation hinders the emergence of craft businesses and limits their capacity to innovate and contribute to the structuring of our economies. The lack of skills training and professionalization also remains a concern. Many of those working in the industry do not have access to the skills needed to meet the growing demands of the market, which hinders the full expression of their talents and the production of quality goods. Added to this is unfair competition from imported industrial products, fraud and counterfeiting which jeopardize sovereignty efforts to stimulate local production. To remedy this situation, our country, in partnership with the African Intellectual Property Organization, has certified several products based on national know-how, including Faso Dumfani, Cocodonda, Sapone Hats, Shea Butter and Bicycle Chicken. Finally, limited access to international markets remains a major challenge, with African artisans struggling to access these markets due to competitiveness issues and tariff and non-tariff barriers imposed by certain partners, limiting their ability to create wealth through exports. Despite these challenges, Burkina Faso has put in place dynamic initiatives to support and promote the craft sector. A framework agreement has been signed between the government and the Chambre des Métiers de l'Artisanat, devoting a significant proportion of public orders to local craft products. This contribution not only stimulates national craft production, but also empowers craftsmen. In addition, days dedicated to local consumers, patriotic commitment and civic contribution. These were introduced to raise awareness of the importance of giving preference to local products and promoting more responsible consumption and solidarity. In addition, Production kits and looms were distributed to artisans to improve their productivity and competitiveness. Efforts have also been made to build the capacity of craftsmen through skills training, enabling them to acquire the skills they need to meet the demands of constantly evolving markets. The construction of a national support center for the artisanal processing of Sonata cotton represents another significant step forward. This center will process local cotton into high-quality products. This contributes to the industrialization of the craft sector and the creation of sustainable jobs. The compulsory wearing of Enfaner and Cocodonda at emblematic official ceremonies in Burkina Faso now includes magistrates' suits, teacher researchers, students and other professional categories, reinforcing the symbolism of our heritage and currently supporting local craftsmen. These actions demonstrate the concrete commitment of the government and players in the sector to making crafts a pillar of economic development, while promoting a strong, autonomous African identity. Ladies and gentlemen, without the major challenges it faces, African craftsmanship has a promising future. Our continent abounds in unsuspected, world-renowned talent and know-how. With the support of public authorities, partners and the private sector, African craftspeople will become dynamic creators and entrepreneurs. In this way, craftsmanship will play an even greater role in the economic and social development of our continent. The theme of this year's edition of Chow bears witness to this, as it aims to raise awareness of the immense potential of African craftsmanship and mobilize the resources needed for its development. Promoting entrepreneurship is becoming an imperative for the public authorities, to encourage our young people to invest more thereby guaranteeing their economic independence. To the young and valiant, you are Africa's hope. You have the talent, creativity and determination to make craftsmanship a powerful lever for social, economic and cultural development. Chow offers a unique opportunity to meet potential buyers, establish partnerships and promote your products.
I invite you to take full advantage of this opportunity to bring your projects to fruition and contribute to the prosperity of our continent. Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, before closing, I would like to express my sincere thanks to all those who, at various levels, have contributed to the organization of this event. I would also like to congratulate the members of the show's National Organizing Committee for their dedication and commitment over the past months, enabling this 17th edition to be held in the best possible conditions. I hereby declare open the 17th edition of the Ouagadougou International Crafts Show. Long live African craftsmanship, friendship, cooperation between our countries, and Burkina Faso. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm particularly pleased to be here this morning as patron of this 17th edition of the Ouagadougou International Crafts Show, Shao. Held over the past few years in a difficult security context. I'd like to do just that. With insistence and humility. Salute the bravery of our fighting forces and the resilience of our people. Indeed, the holding of this edition of the show is proof, once again, that our country will stand firm in the face of these cowardly and barbaric attacks. Against our population, we are convinced. No eternal difficulty and face to face in unity will win. It's also an opportunity. I thank the people of Burkina Faso for their sacrifice. And to the President of Faso, His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré, and his dynamic government, for all the actions they have taken to resist all kinds of adversity facing our country and our region. Your Excellency the President of Faso. Ladies and gentlemen, after 34 years, the Chow event continues to thrive. Participants from all over the world. This edition is no exception, and is honored by the presence of some eminent personalities. Craft industry professionals, exhibitors, media and festival goers, all mobilized for 10 days of magnitude. Craftsmanship in all its richness and diversity. This loyalty deserves to be recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, application in general and Burkina Faso in particular. Experiencing strong demographic change, marked by rapid growth in the young population. In the current context of our country and the Confederacion de los, these donations go hand in hand with our declared and assumed commitment to political and economic sovereignty. This means we need to find endogenous ways of offering economic opportunities to our valiant young people, so that they become the real spearhead of our development and our real sovereignty. Entrepreneurship in a productive sector like the craft industry can be a key factor in the structural transformation of our economy, given its high job creation potential. That's right. The craft sector, long sidelined by development priorities, deserves special attention and support. That's why I'm urging all participants in this year's event to join in the reflection on the relevant theme of this 17th edition, namely African crafts, youth entrepreneurship and empowerment, and above all to make constructive and positive contributions. In my opinion, I can assure you of my personal commitment, and that of the French government, to support all initiatives and approaches aimed at making the craft industry a sector that contributes to the transformation of our economy and to our development. Happy celebration of African craftsmanship to one and all. Long live Chao. Peace and security for Burkina Faso and the region. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to take the floor at the opening ceremony of the 10th edition of the Oadugu Chao Internet Diary Fair, to extend a warm welcome on behalf of the special delegation of travelers and waiters from the town of Wadaru, and on my own behalf, to all our very distinguished guests here today. To the authorities and states that came from Niger, I said Funda Dawa. To the silver authorities from Africa and elsewhere, I say Ni Wango Arabe Seifo Bienla Bienla. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would particularly like to pay tribute to His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré, head of state, who has kindly presided over the ceremony himself.
all of which testifies to the importance he attaches to the world. Craftsmanship, in the image of the father of the revolution, Captain Thomas Isdor Sankara, initiator of the Shao. Excellence. I would also like to express the gratitude and appreciation of the people of my commune for having made it possible to organize this edition of Chao, which has crystallized the attention of all the players and professionals in the sector, despite a particularly difficult context. What do the people of Eyes have to say? Mr. Plan du Faso, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. At this point in my speech, I would like to pay tribute to our defense and security forces, as well as to our volunteers in the defense of our homeland, who fight with courage and self-sacrifice on a daily basis to secure our national territory and restore peace. Through them, I pay a vibrant tribute to all the fighters in our common space, the is. For two days, craft professionals from Burkina Faso, Africa and around the world gathered to celebrate African craftsmanship. It is present in this illustrious exhibition park. This is the legitimate recognition of the Chao's reputation acquired over many years of experience. It also reflects their interest in craftsmanship, a sector that not only contributes to the preservation and promotion of our cultural heritage, but also presents itself as a vector with great potential for responding to the many issues facing African youth. That's why the CIAO's theme is African Craftsmanship, Youth Entrepreneurship and Empowerment. That's why I'd like to take this opportunity. Mr. Minister of Industry, Trade and Crafts As well as the National Organizing Committee for choosing this topical theme. A SEAL is a forum for meetings and exchanges between artisans, buyers, professionals, craft enthusiasts and institutions working to promote the sector. It's craftsmanship. I hope you will take full advantage of these 10 days of exhibition to forge mutually advantageous business relationships, enabling the craft sector to contribute to building our country's economic base. The keys to the city are graciously given to you for your convenience, and I would like to invite you to make legal use of them to discover or rediscover the beautiful city that opens its arms to you. I wish you a most pleasant stay in the free and sovereign land of Burkina Faso, crowned with fruitful encounters and discoveries. Before closing, I'd like to invite the people of Waradugu to take an active part and participated in the various activities and explored the international handicrafts on display. For my part, I have been able to reassure you of the growing population of the special management to ensure that this handicrafts festival is one of the most beautiful and meets the expectations of all those who have made the sincere friendship of making the trip to Wadaru today full success to the 17th edition of the Chao Live Burkina Faso. Live the friendship between the two.